In this example, we've been asked to use the comparison test to determine the convergence of this series, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, n plus 1 over n squared. In this example, I'll demonstrate that usually there's a number of different series we can compare the series we're concerned about to. Sometimes that allows us to use the comparison test, and sometimes the comparison test breaks down. So in the first instance, I'll show you a case where the series we choose to compare this series to doesn't allow us to, to use the comparison test. And then I'll show you the correct series to use so that we can get a true case of the comparison test. So first of all, I would look at this series and see that the dominant term here is the n squared. So my first choice might be to look at the term here and compare it to the dominant term, 1 on n squared. So to go from here, n plus 1 over n squared, to 1 over n squared, I've taken out the n, which definitely makes the series here on the right a lot smaller. So if each term there, n plus 1 over n squared, is greater than 1 over n squared, then the sum of all these terms would also be smaller. And so we can say that the sum from n plus 1 over n squared would definitely be larger than the sum of 1 over n squared. So looking at the series of compared our series to 1 over n squared. I recognize that that is a p-series where my p-value is equal to 2 p-series as uh, the p-value is the power down the bottom there so the p is 2 and we know that when the p-series has a p-value of greater than 1 the series converges so therefore this series converges So we go back to our comparison test and have a look. So we've got a smaller series that converges. That means the larger series, we still don't know whether it converges or diverges. If the smaller series converges, so we think the total sum is going to be bounded above by a number, the larger series might still diverge because this series is larger than this one. So in this case here, comparing the series n plus 1 over n squared to 1 over n squared is the incorrect choice. So the comparison test in this case fails. And we'll write that on here. The comparison test fails. Which is fine. It just means we need to find a better series here to compare this one to. So instead of taking out the n and leaving the 1 here, I might compare this term to n over n squared. So leave the dominant term n squared in there, but also leave the n in there as well. So I'll trial another series, n plus 1 over n squared. I'm going to compare that to n over n squared. Again, in this case, to go from the left-hand side to the right-hand side here, I've subtracted 1. So the 1 on the right here is definitely smaller just for those terms. Again, if I add all of those up, then the series from n plus 1 over n squared this must be greater than the series, the sum of n over n squared. This series on the right-hand side here now is equal to the sum of 1 on n. When I go through and cancel out a common factor of n there. The series here on the right is our harmonic series. We know the harmonic series diverges. So therefore the harmonic series diverges. And in this case, when we come and look at our comparison now, the series which is smaller diverges, so it adds up to infinity, so therefore the larger series must also add up to infinity, and so the larger series must diverge. So this case is now the correct choice for our series to compare to. 
So we'll note that down the bottom by the comparison test, the series we've got the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n plus 1 over n squared diverges. Just looking at that now, another way for us to decide the convergence of this series would be for us to just see if we can manipulate the series to put it into a form that we could recognize. So without using the comparison test here at all, if I just look at this form that I've got, n plus 1 over n squared, with that single factor on the bottom line, I can say that that's equal to n over n squared plus 1 over n squared, which I can rearrange that first term here, simplifies to 1 on n plus 1 on n squared. So therefore the series that we've got can be rewritten the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 on n plus 1 on n squared. We know the sigma here is, is the standard for a sum. Everything on the, the right-hand side here is being added together for all the n values. So therefore, we could break up each of these terms with its own sigma. So in this case here, this whole series can be written as the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 on n plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 on n squared. And if we look at the convergence of both of these positive term series, that might tell us the, the convergence of our original series. As we see here again, we have the harmonic series. And we know the harmonic series diverges. And we're adding that to another series, this is the P series where P is equal to 2, so it converges. But when you add the two together, you're adding a series that adds up to infinity to another positive term series. So the whole series must diverge as well. As one part of the series diverges, you add some more to it, the whole series must diverge as well. So it often pays off to look at the series, and from this bit of reasoning here, we can say, so therefore our original series n equals 1 to infinity of n plus 1 over n squared definitely diverges.